Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Power Toys Utility app has received another update, and this is the second update that version 55 has received since uh, it rolled out just over a week ago. Now, the first was 0.55.1, which was a bug and stability fix update, which I did post on. And this latest update takes us to 0.55.2, which addresses a setup failure when trying to uh, install the app onto your system. Now, if you have been seeing this error message uh, showing up when trying to install Power Toys, that this is due to the fact that there is a conflict with the .NET Runtime version 5, uh, which is installed with the Power Toys app. Now, if we just head over to our apps and features list, when the last version was installed, version 53 of Power Toys, Microsoft Windows Desktop Runtime version 3 was required to run that. And then when we went from version 53 to 55, um, Microsoft um, then installed the Windows Desktop Runtime version 5 onto your system because this is required for the Power Toys Utility app to function and work on your system. Now, the the setup failure error is the possible reason for this is uh, due to an error that you would see if you have a newer version of the .NET Runtime uh, 5 um, installed and the installer would not be able to detect it and then it tries to install an older version which means you would get this error so um, this latest update to the power toys utility app which you can just if you're already running the app you can just check for updates which will update you automatically to 55.2 this latest update addresses that issue so if you have been experiencing uh, and any issues you can just check for updates or you can just head over to github where you can actually download the installer from GitHub itself. And you can do this by just clicking on the release notes. And this will take you over uh, to that uh, the release notes for this latest update. And you can just click on the PowerToys Setup EXE, which will install that onto your device. And PowerToys is available, available for both Windows 10 and 11 um, through the Microsoft Store as well, if you'd like to install it using that option. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.